I was like, all right, I like sports. I'm going to do this. So I figured out what I liked, then I figured out how to do it, and then, you know, you keep going from there. But the biggest thing is just being able to come home and redefining yourself other than just, I was a Marine, I fought in this war. That's not, you know, your life doesn't end there. There were kids that volunteered after 9-11 and said, we, we want to go. You know, they're, they're the less than 1% that serve, you know, that Roger up and say, we, we want to go. So when, when my ASVAB came back and it was 98, my recruiter was like, oh, you can be data, you can be intelligence. I was like, infantry, sir. And he was like, are you, are you, are you sure? <laughs> you can do anything else. And I was like, no, infantry, no infantry. He said, you don't have to. And I was like, I know I don't have to. None of this is have to. This is all voluntary. Like, that's the point. Marines fighting. Like, that's what Marines did. They fought wars and they won wars. And I just told them, no, this is one one way ticket. I'm going to the infantry and that's, that's what it's gonna be. It's a different generation of Marines, and they saw a lot more than I did as a young Marine. We went out with three, four, we lost nine Marines. I was devastated. You know, that sense of, of loss, you know, having to talk to the parents afterwards. I mean, you can't struggle. I remember when I came back and the, like a car backfires and then immediately I pivoted and went to my hip, you know, and it's just reactionary. A lot of, it takes a while for, for your reactions to settle down. You're not necessarily nerves, it's just that's what you're trying to do. You hear something, you see something, and this is how you react, you know, your muscle memory kind of takes over. I just remember looking around the mall like, why well, if this guy blows himself up over here? Or if these people start shooting around, and that's all I can do, is sit there and think about what would happen, what would these people do? Would these people do anything? No, these people run this, what would this guy do? What would they that? secondary over here and that's all I was thinking about was where are they going to attack from. I'll tell you because I never I never really got to see the enemy so much unless they're dead or a split second. Like I never really got to see them. I think the fact that you know the war didn't kill people like you, you didn't die in war but the, it's eating you up after kind of even hurts more because you don't know how to do it and you kind of do it by yourself and you think if you just drink it it'll be all right. So you just bottle it up and obviously most of the most infantry guys are kind of those alpha male sort of you know bravado you know cocky kind of dudes so it's tough for saying hey man i have a problem you know or hey i i need some help it's for, for some guys that can honestly be the toughest thing they ever do in their life is ask for help when something's wrong i want to be a part of it i want to be part of the solution when some when people are suffering i want to be part of their like their their uh, of, of consoling that and that's just always been who i am i'm not fearful of not pulling a trigger when I thought I needed to pull a trigger. Like those things, they eat people alive because they don't talk about it. And then they don't have anyone to talk to. And with this, with, with my group, I, I know I could tell them. I know I could tell them anything I needed to tell them. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. If, uh, if we need to stay in contact or anything like that, I would have killed myself. For sure, that's, that's, that's a fact. I've lost a lot of good friends, and it breaks my heart, it does, it does. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about them, and that's the truth. We're just losing so many, and it's, it's, painful, to, it's painful to watch such great men and, and such... Uh, and like such... I don't know, tragic moments, you know, they just, it's over.